Lawrence Brothers was started back in 1974 by my grandfather, James Daniel Lawrence, and his brother, Dale Lawrence. Motive power trays are trays that go into material handling equipment. So you'll see them in every warehouse around the country. We make about a thousand trays a week. Our biggest issue with continued growth has been people. Our area is very small. A lot of kids, especially, you know, even my son, the first thing they say is, I want to leave. I think another thing and uh, that is a big issue in our area is the opioid crisis. You know, that kind of takes away from the workforce of already not that many people here. We also had a lot of injuries due to grinding. People are holding this heavy, you know, seven to 10 pound grinders all day long. That's tiring on anyone. Back whenever I used to grind, there were some mornings I would wake up and I mean, I would physically have to pull my hands apart. You know, you got to hold on to that thing because it comes out of your hands. Somebody's going to be hurting. You get stuff in their eyes, you know, metal shavings, things like that, and it would happen one time, it would happen 10 times. And then after that, they're like, I don't want to do this no more. So we had a lot of turnover in those positions, but that's a necessity for what we do. So it's not something that we could just say, oh, we're not doing grinding anymore. That's, that's an operation that has to be done. In bringing in gray matter to help us develop robotic components that will replace some of the hard manual labor, I feel that we're able to provide longevity for our guys. We're able to provide a life that is focused on not living to work, but more working to live. I was very skeptical at first. I uh, did not think that it would be able to keep up. The machine showed up and, you know, within a couple of weeks, we were up and running, you know. So our number was to get 80 trays per shift or 160 trays during a 20 hour period. We achieved that from week one and we saw the advantage of that robot. Without a doubt, we feel that it was a great decision. Nobody does what Great Man Robotics does. You know, I think the most attractive thing that they provide is that AI technology that will scan the part uh, and it makes the process so simple. We can change parts every cycle and it doesn't matter. You know, a tray that is never ran, it doesn't matter if you never, never ran that tray, it will do the same thing. It's all about consistency. It's always the same. You know, a person in hour one of the day is grinding at a certain level, at hour 10 is, you know, he's tired. It doesn't produce the same quality. I think we recapped about 38% production rate just by adding the robot. We were reworking eight to 10 trays a day sometimes. Now we're doing eight to 10 every couple of months, but it's nothing to do with the grinding operations now. Rework affects your bottom line. We have gained production rate and consumable usage is almost in half. We're using a lot of grinding discs that were averaging about eight to $10 each. Now the grinding discs that we're using for this is that are about $1.69. And we've seen savings of like, without exaggerating, of about $2,000 a week, just on that. So we needed a technology that's also easy for us to transition new people to that role in a day or two days or in a week. I think we can train somebody there in, in less than a day. The guys that we were using for that, we were able to use them for other things. So not only did it lessen their physical workload, but it gave them a little more responsibility. We upskilled them into another position, which in return benefited us, but also benefited them. When they get off, they can go home and play with their kids. They, they're not dead tired when they go home. They're not absolutely filthy when they go home. I can move forward and build a new life that I'm proud of, build a career where I know that I am um, actively participating, not only in the local economy, but in the global economy, and something that I'm proud to go home and tell my kids about. Gray Matter enables us to be able to do that by being at the forefront of technology and the forefront of automation and bringing new ideas and new capabilities to the manufacturing industry, which is something that is not seen very often. If I talk to anybody that I know in business is to go to Gray Matter, and I do tell them that because that technology is something that you can't find anywhere else. And if you're going to do it, do it right.